everybody welcome back to my channel today I want to do a video of how to make an anklet that looks just like this so if you want to learn how to make this friendship bracelet anklet little doodad just hang around hang tight and I'll teach you how and I'll show you all the materials that you'll need to get this started the materials that you're gonna need for making this bracelet is uh, scotch tape. Now, scotch tape is really good to stick onto your bracelet to keep it still. That way it doesn't move or anything while you're making the bracelet. Very, very, very important to have scotch tape. Then you'll need a clipboard. Now, this is a big, normal size clipboard. I use it to measure my length. Um, it just, it helps me a lot better. And then I'll use a smaller clipboard like this to actually do my bracelet on. And then, of course, what would a bracelet be like without some embroidery floss? So you just pick out however many colors of embroidery floss that you want. And last but not least, you'll need some skizzers. So, and I also always have a pen and a piece of paper with me to put down the order of colors that I want or whatever. So, to get this process started, I'm going to take my clipboard and I'm going to take the first color. And I always wrap this around two and a half times um, just because it makes it long enough for an anklet. Long enough, that way you know you've got enough string. And then you'll just go ahead and take your scissors and you will cut it and then that leaves me with the rest of my embroidery for us for another bracelet so you just do it with all of your colors you don't have to measure now you can just take this piece of string and measure the others and I'll be I'm gonna move you guys it is important whenever you're measuring your floss sorry I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see me pretty good it's important whenever you're measuring your floss not to tangle it. It is so easy to get tangled. And I'm using different textures of floss, so it's going to take different amounts. Good thing about the embroidery floss is it's not that expensive. So, you can buy like, if you go to a crafting store, they're like 49 cents a piece, which isn't terrible. That's really cheap. If you buy four of them, that's like two bucks. But I've got a whole little kit. I bought a, my starter pack at Walmart. Um, so if you guys are looking into getting some flossing going. Or to make some bracelets for friends or whatever. That's going to be a good start. Is through Walmart. Because you'll get a lot of different colors. Um, at first. So what I've got here. I'm just measuring out my two strings and you see how I'm pulling it tight then I'm at the bottom so I'll hold it tight right here I'll take my scissors and I'll cut and we'll just do the other colors that way this makes for a fun project to do with literally anybody all right so I've got all my string cut, and what I've done is I've pre-measured and put together, I hope this is really good, this is the first video I've made like this, and I've mm, met them all at the ends, mm, <laughs> did you hear that? I've met them all at the ends. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knot this, so I've doubled them over, and I'm going to knot it right at the top, so... Just like you would do a normal knot. Now, listen, I'm not the best at knotting things, so this might look a little crappy. You want this knot as little as you can get it, so kind of feed it up to the top here. So, I'm just sticking my finger through so I know I've got enough space to work with. And I just keep feeding all of mine upward. And then tighten it. So, you're left with a knot. That looks like this. Kind of a big knot, but not terrible. So now, what I've got is my little miniature, hi, uh, clipboard here. 
And what I'm going to do is I just kind of like lift it up and tape it down. Um, which, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to find me some pipe. Um, this roll of tape has honestly been through so much. Um, it literally has been through a lot. So I'm just going to take a strip. This is going to be your best friend. Now, you can try regular tape. I don't know how it's going to work, but um, for this purpose, I'm just going to tape it down right here in front of you. So, here is where your pen and paper would come in handy if you want to remember what order your colors are going. Now, I have a reference bracelet in my baggie because this is how I'm bringing everything to work. So, I have my reference one. I'm going to go pink, blue, green, and then this slate gray color. So, what I do is I just separate all of the colors and I will do this off camera and come back when they're all separated. So, I've got all of my colors separated. Now, this was kind of tedious. I'm not going to lie. So, if you want, after you get all your colors separated, if it's easier for you, because you're going to have to make a four around it, um, if it's easier for you, you can tape them down, like, just like this. But I don't tape mine down because I don't, I, don't, I mean, I really didn't need to for this one. Normally, I do tape all my stuff down. But for this one, it's just easier if you, you know, don't. But I separated my first one that I'm going to do, which is the pink. And I'm just going to take the tape off. And you can save the tape if you need it. So, this is a really long string, so you're going to have to really watch out. You're going to make a four over all of your strings. And here's where I clump mine together. And you can try to keep them in the same order. It's going to be difficult the first round you go through. So, make sure you just kind of keep them together. And what I do is I pick up on the strings. I push it under pull it out with my index finger, you just loop it around. If you have an easier way of doing that, you are more than welcome to it. And you see how it makes that little knot? Well, I pull it tight, pull it all the way up to the top. And I just do this mm, probably about four or five times and then I see where the lines come. And if I want it a little bit more, I end up doing it about 10 times. But the pink is a thicker string, so it doesn't take as many. Um, and it really just depends on your personal preference on how much of each color you want in sequence. So I'm gonna try to fast forward through all this, maybe throw in a little bit of play music and we'll get going to the next color. <laughs> tell how this is kind of the top is kind of curling over so what you want to do with it is you want to pick up on your string you want to fold this under and you're going to do that and then you'll go back sorry this is kind of looks really bad but then you're just going to kind of do the same thing but make sure you twist with your string because if you don't the the little curls in it aren't they're just not going to look right so you want to make sure to curl with your bracelet and this is literally so easy and you just do it however much you want now i'm going to go off and then come back whenever i'm ready to do my second okay. color so i'm ready to do my second color and it's going to be blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group these together and then you're just going to do the exact same thing you've been doing before. Make sure to twist with your wrap. Um, maybe I can zoom in just a little bit better for you so you can kind of see how it twists around a little bit. I mean, you can kind of tell. You just want to twist it with it. Um, that's the best I can explain. So, I hope this video is informative. I mean, literally, I'm doing it through my um, 
phone camera, so I hope the quality is okay. But you just want to do this however many times. And if your strings get in the way, that's okay. They're going to be long to begin with. So it's going to kind of be something you'll have to work with. And I might try some other angles of this. I don't know. <laughs> with the other two strings. Um, to see if it can get you a better picture. But we're going to go in with the blue. We're just going to twist her around. Until I go to the next color. And by the way, you can see the colors of these a lot better now. Um, I'll kind of hold my hand behind it. You can see the blue is like a nice sky blue and you've got this medium color. The green and the pink. Pink kind of looks orange, but it's not, I promise. <laughs> pink is kind of showing right here what I do is I take my nail and I just push it up and then you want to pull the green down because the greens kind of protruding through let me grab the green grab the green and push up on the blue Ta -da. see and look at that you can see that one a lot better whenever you twist with the bracelet so I'm probably gonna do just a couple more passes and then we're gonna go on to the next color, which is gonna be green. Okay, so here's a different angle for you. I've got done with the blue color. I didn't do as many passes on it because I wanted to get another angle for you. Got the green, gonna do the four. And here is if you guys need a better representation of the four. I'm gonna try to turn it for you guys. Looks exactly like a four hold it pull it under pull it through and loop de doo so this is super simple i'm literally going to do this all the way down through the bracelet and then i'll tell you how i tie it off now a lot of people do buttons at the end um where i like to be able to remove my bracelets without you know having to do a button closure or whatever um it's just not a it's not, not easy for me. So, I'm going to show you my bracelets. Now, funny story about this one. This is the very first chevron bracelet I did. And it doesn't look too good. Here's my red, white, and blue bracelet. This is my favorite one that I've made for myself so far. Um, I just, sometimes I'll braid it and then I tie them on. They're easy to slip on and off. So I really like that and they slide up and down my arm. So it's not cutting off circulation, which is great. But I'm gonna finish doing all of these colors. I'll come back at the end and let you guys know how my bracelet turned out. Um, and you guys can see, and if you guys want, you can um, make this bracelet and then let me know down in the comments how your all's turned out or show me a picture of them um you can go on my instagram page that i have kbtv and leave me an instagram post or comment on mine i'll post my little bracelet that i made for the video comment yours let me know different color combos that you guys do that would be really fun so here's what we have so far super simple super easy and I will try to be back with the next layer so you can kind of see how the colors stay apart from each other I think that would be awesome so there that is okay this might be a little shaky I've got the camera in my hand but here's what the bracelet looks like so far um the pink blue green silver and you can really see that detail going and look how the strings kind of separate themselves. You know, it's really easy just to be like, oh, okay, I need green. And to separate it. So they kind of separate themselves after you get done with the first row, which is great. So I'm just going to keep going to the end of the bracelet. 
or to the end of the anklet, I'm sorry. Welcome back. So I'm done with the anklet. It is super long. So what I'm gonna do now is twist the end. This is gonna look crazy. But then I'm just gonna tie it again. You actually don't have to if you don't want to, but the only reason I'm gonna tie it is to keep that at the end looking pretty, pretty good. Um, but like I said, you don't have to do that. And I'm just gonna tie it. Now I suck at tying these knots at the end of the bracelets and stuff. Okay, here we go. And that's how you make your anklet. And what I just do is, um, I'll just take this, I'll tie it, and then I'll cut the extra off. So, yeah, this is a huge anklet. But the colors are super pretty. There you have it. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm going through, I'm editing the video, and then I've looked, and I'm like, I didn't do a complete outro. But I hope you liked the video. I hope it's very informative. I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something and enjoyed it and learned something. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. Let me know what your alls looks like over on my Instagram. I will link it down below as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and hit that post notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye!